What if, what if he changes ties to? If you're like Cola, you can put like a different name and then not even know about it until they get into the match. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it should be seated. It's still a tournament. Like, even though it's online, like, you shouldn't have like Void versus like Cola round one just because it's Wi Fi. Yeah, but I, that's why I argue to people. If you're gonna see a tournament, I think you can see it a more higher stakes tournament. Like if there's more money on the line. But if it's like a twenty dollar tournament, it's like, all right, bro, come on, just twenty bucks. <laughs> hey, but I want, I want those twenty bucks. Like, so I want my best op, my best chance to get those twenty bucks. So, it's, I would say like every tournament should be seated, but you know, depending on how quote serious or big the tournament is, that would determine. How far you go in the scene? Yeah, that's true. Well, anyways, Skilly here, pretty far, obviously. Winner's quarter final, bonus 10. Uh, he happened to be in here after. Let's take a look at his backup, actually, because I just. Like many of you, I'm trying to take a look at his waste time. He beat Echo Fire, and he Echo Fire some Chunky Kong into losers. So, oh, Skilly has. Donkey Kong's pretty bad, so. I'm not surprised yeah. Chunky lost that. And uh, I'm pretty surprised to see him not play hero. Yeah, he played me sooner. He I guess I guess this might be a better matchup. Yeah. I was thinking it was kind of hard for hero too, because even though he has zoom, it's really easy to get edge guarded by this character. And like he, hero has a lot of moves that interrupt the, the menu. In my opinion. So this is just this is a better character to pick up, I would say. He's still losing, but it, it makes sense. Yeah, I think the one thing that you really want to have up against him is you don't want to just bail enough time caps and start to slowly pick you apart on the specific match. <laughs> I think as fail you you know, your your aim of the game here is to get in, get damage, and then your opponent gets like this and eventually one of your problems to kill. Except for against Lucina, right, where she has her speed or reaction on a shield, and she gives it up the her veil is how fast can you take Lucina to the death person and actually Lucina is how how fast can you kill Bale. That's what the matchup feels to me, you know, in hindsight. Yeah. Pin's very good though. I think he's one of the better uh, beta players online right now. So he, he might just be really good for that. Yeah. He's a oh, really, really common character. Yeah, that looks really good from Cody. I'm sorry, Cody. That's uh, just because, like I said, right, like out of shield, you have some pretty solid moves. Machina and then it's base, right? You can easily kill with up to out of shield. Pretty hard on the ground. I think one thing that everybody has to like, understand here is that we saw this skill easy. After burning kick from the ledge is a pretty common move to see Bayonetta do, so being able to be in that perfect space to punish is all up to you. It's all up to hand if you can get that down. Yeah. It's more so like a skill check. Just to see, like, are they actually good at punishing this? Mm -hmm. like not then. It's like a free way to get to the center stage of the line, pretty much. Yeah, and you sacrifice a lot if your opponent gets center stage, especially if they're coming out of the corner. Okay, this is uh, this is like a good position because um, they only kills off like a raw kill move now. Exactly. And uh, which time? So with the rage, you kill the hero. I'll say like around 90. I don't think I'm surprised to see it up at 72, which one it was. You really could do some damage because you can call out the spot out. This is the music to go back to go for it. The stop right there in the middle of the directional air dodge. Or the air dodge I think like that. Yo, that down air just came out like swinging from Cena. The fact that you get yeah. down air into up air, like, oh, so stylish, but great kill for Yeah, for Mark as well. But, uh, yeah, that was like a witch time punish because him was like desperate for the stock. Because, like, he, again, he's still in that situation where he needs like a rock kill me to hit the stock now. Ooh, That's one of the hard things about Bayo. Uh, you can struggle to kill once you're like out of the range of uh, like where combos are pretty off the top, or if you're just playing a character that's really hard to edge out like you see. Yeah, this is rough. He still has all the rage too. He can kill right here if he plays his card here. Oh. Bad recovery. Yeah, bad recovery left himself open at the ledge and pen with the dash attack. Good cleanup. 
Yeah, like I said, really good, really good for him to just go for like jabs. Like I said, you can pull out bails for like the usual bail thing. Because I'm not saying the character is bad or anything. It's just at some opportunity, especially in Wi-Fi, I'm not really knowing how that really works. You can punish a lot of bails, habits, things like full heal slide. He's actually been really smart about using heal slide too. Like mm -hmm. he's uh, not committing to a second kick if he has shield. Oh, yeah. can get beyond the down smash. He actually did a good job bringing this back, but I'm really curious how he's going to get the kill without doing something really unsafe. Yeah, speak of the devil, right? Like, unsafe. Like you said, you do you do get stage control and positioning if you go for active burn kick at the ledge, but at this opportunity, and pretty much knows. Okay, I don't know, 146. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah! Wow. Nice, nice, nice. I like that. Yeah, he, I think... He did the I was quarter, just because he used that, um... Once he's out of the witch time, he can set up for the force smash. And they buff force smash knockback too, so it's just a really good kill move now. Uh, that was yeah. actually a really clutch a witch time at the ledge, because he hadn't gone for that at all. Uh, except for that one time. Yeah, and every, game, every, like, they can't bay at that is so scary because you never know when witch time is going to come out, especially if witch time is fresh. Like, any... That's that's when she kind of reverts to her old form, where which time equals GG. Yeah, I think that was really good though too from both players. Um, big PSI guy, it's Skilly who is the <laughs> listener, and it's Mickey Han who is the uh, Skilly. Yes. Is the hero. Sorry, yes. Yeah. So um, hero's coming out now, which I'm. I don't know. I guess this is his best I character. This is what I want to yeah. see. Throw everything at that witch. That's just weird because I, I, Lucina did, was such a really good pick game one. Like, he literally was Three, at the back end two, of Bayonetta's one, heel, and go. then he brought that back. Granted, things were unfortunate with which time at the ledge there, but we'll see. I mean, the one thing that he was able to do is have really good spacing. You can punish dash attack, obviously, because it's not a really good move. Yeah, see, mind. look at the situation he's in right now. He hasn't had any time to use the mini whatsoever. Yeah, I think that's... Of the character that he's playing right now. Fine, he doesn't. Too. He doesn't need menu though to 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 win this matchup. You can, you can literally win with just side B. Side B is all you need for this matchup. I feel like you can, if your game you're spacing right, it all depends on how how Hen can deal with skill. I think the one thing you have to do take into consideration what the right says, right? Is Hen going to be able to actually oppress Skilly because of Hero's poor frame data, or is, you know, Skilly going to have enough time and space to actually get the window open and then find that opportunity to kill oh, that was wow. the window's opportunity? And just like that, Hen is able to take it down. Like I said, right? No, no, you can't, you can't, you can't claim credit for, for the matchup. That was just Hen being good. That could have yeah, been no. probably any character and that would have worked. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, when it comes to like, that's, that's not a magic thing. I was making uh, use of this stage and everything. Really, 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 really good combo. But a uh, nice. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Frizzle? Yeah. Uh, I think it's. Cassiz. 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 Okay. Not the best DI either. But he actually got out of the full combo at the top, so that's fine. He'll take some percent, but each one will die. Like, uh, yeah, they're going for the reset, expecting an air dodge from Hen. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. Ooh. Oh, the platform! Yeah, this hero has the... I can't remember what this... The, the green accelerate. form. Yeah. Yeah, accelerate. Yeah, yeah. When he has that, he is so scary. He can kill you so early. Oh, and he got it again. Oh. Yes, getting that. Yes, the light neutral B into an air. Yeah, he can follow up off of his projectiles when using the stellar rattle. Combined with uh, him actually having the knockback boost spell as well, that's just really good. Cool. I, I can actually see, like, look at how he's approaching the hero now. He's doing I think, the same thing he did with Lucina, but now he has a little bit better uh, ways to punish because he has projectiles now. And he's still got a big sword. Yeah, he's just a little bit slower, so he has to space a little bit better, but he's like adapting things up. Now that side B coming into play again, it's not allowing him to set up great B reverse at the ledge, making up his approach. This, and this, is, this is hard too for him, because he, 
uh, like instinctively wants to approach just because he doesn't want to give Hero space to use the menu. But that is least him getting punished uh, more often than not. So. Look at look at these cool. these like higher percents. We always see like Skilly jumping back, drifting back, and spacing oh, out no. the right beat. Oh yeah, that's a dead witch. I was gonna say this matchup feels like the equivalent of what happens when the teacher is trying to catch you using your cell phone in the classroom. Do you get away with it, or do you get away with it, or do you not get away with it? Right? That's this, what it feels like. The hero matchup isn't bad. It's all about spacing. It's all about spacing with your with your specials and then punishing the, the heal slides. And on top of that, if he ever if Hero ever feels pressured on the ground, he can always up B out of shield. That'll put Bayonetta into the air as well. It's uh on paper I would say it's like even. Well, we'll see. We'll see what uh him does to adapt to it and see to his counterfeit. Kind of I mean, speaking of being on paper, like, if you look at Bayonetta's frame data, on paper as is, you're usually seeing, like, frame 13, frame 14 moves, and even then, the Omega Love and the moves are really, really cool, are very similar to how Heroes is. The one thing that Bayonetta has over Hero is her air power is much more prevalent than Heroes is, where him going for an aerial is pretty much commitment there. For Bayonetta, it's where she definitely accelerates it. So it's going to be... A matter of, you know, how is Hen and Sylvia going to face each other in those situations? Look at the air. Hero has no space to breathe at the situation here, but when it's on the ground where he can definitely kind of like catch up to Bayonetta, that's the situation that gets changed. Speaking of like the, this, this counter pick, Strides, what, what do you think about this counter pick for this matchup? Well, honestly, honestly, I just think he wanted a little. Bit less room than PS2, so you can like get in your hero space more. That's like the only thing I can see that's changed from the last game. And it seems to be working pretty well. I'm surprised that it's working this well because I wouldn't. You would think that somebody who especially likes to approach from an aerial uh, standpoint, that you wouldn't want platforms to be a oh. defense position for Skilly. Yeah. But yeah. Hen seems to have nullified that. Got to be careful it's... though. Oh my god. Good. Uh, no magic power here. Finally climbing up to 166 to 99. Oh, oh it's like a... He gets his hands on the witch. Yeah, see, Hen's running away now. Oh, just okay. enough time. Four Fourth throw. throw. Oh, good no, man. No magic. So a very unsafe dash actually. Kind of <laughs> yeah. slow. Man, even even if Ren couldn't close the third purple situation, it would have been enough to just throw Hero away off the stage and then get into the edge guard face. But good stuff either way though, he's gonna Yeah. He's gotta be careful again. Okay, good punish here. Oh nice, yeah. Skilly thought he had an open there to you know, use his dust with the kill, but wow, what a trade. I actually has some good DI on that. Yeah, it still took a lot of percent though. Skilly was definitely trying to uh -oh. get through the kill grab yeah, he's there. Go for his move, of course. The yeah, only way he could have got time. past that edge guard. Uh, okay, Ken's starting to throw which times, so he's got to be careful with that. But uh, yeah, right now Skilly can't get any opportunity to use the menu, really. Okay, he's got psych up, he wants that early kill. Oh my oh, god, he really no, no. What? Wait, what? Why do you. Okay. He went to sleep, right? Yeah, yeah he was asleep. Yeah. yeah. That's how Hulk is broken towards. It's all RNG. You either get a status effect or your opponent will. No, I understand that. It's just that, like, why did Hitch just throw him instead of just killing him? Yep, smashing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fair choice there. I think he wanted something. I don't know. He still got the kill anyway. Yeah, dealer's choice. I can't believe Skilly went for Hocus Pocus in that situation. I, I know he was behind by a lot, but like, there's, there's very And, hey, hey, you gotta roll the dice when you play Hero. I just don't like Skilly's position under these platforms. He's always like either too far forward or just centered beneath the platform and still allowing Bayonetta to dive in on him. Yeah. Like, Skilly just needs to pull back a little bit more so that that uh, platform can be more of a barrier for him. 
I can see that. He's also trying to, you know, use these buffs to get these early kills, but like, him's just not giving it to him. Uh, he knows that he can die very easily if he just messes up a little bit. And MP is running low for Skilly. Yeah, 14. It's, it's gonna be fun if you can get a hit in him. He just brings it down to five. I think for him, he just knows. I'm in such an advantageous position. I have absolutely no reason to over approach. Oh, oh, really good, oh. really good. Or that yeah. doesn't take the power though. That doesn't take the power up. Yeah. Still though, man, that was. Uh, it's a, yeah, that was a few times. Uh, it's not over. It's zero. Yo, whack at <laughs> zero percent. I want to say it's an even game, as cliche as that sounds. And I think Hen knows that too, so I don't think he's gonna go thinking too crazy here. These dive kicks though are getting a little predictable. Okay, he's at the ledge. Nice. Get the side view. Relieve a little bit of pressure here. Oh man, the back airs are flying. Texas. Oh my god, that was such a risky air dodge. But you guys like the immediate wish twist. Oh my goodness. Did, it's. Damage? Yeah. Did, did he back? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he hit the passive thing because he uh, did witch time. Oh my god. Alright, this is scary. Okay, he's gonna heal some percent a little bit. No, that's good because you're gonna bring those percent oh. a bit closer. It's gonna take it off the menu. Oh my god. <laughs> this is such a scary situation. Dude. I think I wonder if Hen's thinking about the time though. Yeah, 145 on the clock. I think at this point for him, he's pretty well content with being at 40. And this is what you need to do is just be oh. content with where you are on the stage, but also he's... with your percents. Okay, he's so fortunate that he's getting bats with him on these witch times. Okay, oh. that's. Oh, it's psycho. Time. up! Here it is. Now they're both at kill percent for sure. Is he going for this? Oh my, oh my god. Oh, He's so oh no. Dash attack, but it's gonna be fair. Yeah, Hen should definitely be thrown away. Yeah, Hen does. I mean, you could definitely do that with Bandit. That's quite a bit of a too. Oh, okay, but like, no mana. Oh, oh, bad DI. Yeah, that was bad DI. Yeah. It, it was really good too because at that situation for Hen. Like I said, you have to pay attention to if you're going to dodge your opponent and run away, where is your stage position going to end up at? Is it worth trying to roll or trying to go for afterburner kick? Second opportunity is that you also have to know you're up and percent of your opponent. Just like Hen, you can consistently run away from a character like Hero, more so or less in the sky, in this position where Hero is a very